One of the big things that I get asked about the solar project is what are my fees and what are my costs going to be like on my energy bill after I go solar. Now with this, the one thing you need to realize is you're never really going to eliminate your entire energy bill. Even if you're at like 110% of your actual offset, you're still probably going to have to pay a little bit towards the energy company because of all your charges. Not all those fees just go away as soon as you get solar, but they will be reduced. So on your energy bill, you basically have two different types of charges. You'll have your variable charge, which is based off of your kilowatt hours pulled from the grid. And then you'll have your distribution and transmission fees and rate riders and your local access fee as another charge. Now the reason this happens is because you have your retailer that's actually buying and selling your power or right now that you're buying your power from them. And then you have your distributor, which is like Epcor, Fortis or Nmax, and they own the grid utility lines. Now what's going on is you're getting charged per kilowatt hour for the energy you use. And then you're getting charged for Epcor keeping the infrastructure up to date and making sure that it's working and able to provide you energy. Now on those distribution side and the transmission side, those are the charges people are always wondering what happens to these charges after I go solar. What you need to understand is that there's two different types of charges here. There's something called a daily rate which is something you pay every single day to actually be connected to Epcor's infrastructure and then you have a variable charge that's based off your kilowatt hour usage. Now the cool thing about the solar project is that because we are connecting directly into your breaker during the day, you have the ability to access the power straight from the solar and not take it from the grid. So what this means is that you can actually lower that distribution and transmission variable charge based off of how much power you use from the solar system. The one thing to understand is if you are looking at it and you're a, like say a gamer and you use the computer at nighttime, you're now pulling a lot more power off the grid because the solar system is no longer producing. One thing I can suggest is that as a solar producer, you want to make everything very consistent throughout your day. So for example, if you're using the laundry and you're using the dishwasher and you're charging your car and you're using computers all at the same time, eventually your solar system is not going to be producing enough power to support that much usage. So you want to spread things out so that you're actually using less power off the grid and more power from your solar system to lower those fees. Now, when we're looking at it, if you're looking at your daily rate and your variable rate, this can all be found online through the AUC website. It'll tell you exactly what the charges are. Now, what Horizon is doing, because we don't know when you're using power. We don't know if you're going to use more power during the day, more power at night, and everyone works a little bit differently. We are accounting for $42 in minimum charges. What that means is we're probably accounting for your daily rate, your administration fee, and your local access fee. But any charge that would be coming from variable usage at night, that's what we cannot account for. Now those fees, they're gonna work out maybe to a couple hundred dollars at the end of the year, depending on your system size, how large it is but they will still be on your bill. The way the credit system will work is you're gonna get credit through the summer and then eventually you're gonna run out of that credit in the winter time and at the end of the year, you'll end up paying whatever is left over or remaining out of those fees. Now, if you're at 109, 110% offset, you're obviously gonna see more credit in the summer to pay off more of your energy bill in the winter time. Then if you're at a 50% offset, you might just cover your energy bill in the summer and then have a full bill in the winter time as well. Like I said, Horizon, we're going to take a look at the $42 in charges. Anything above that is based off of your guys' usage and depending on which area you live. So that's what we can account for. For low utility rates in Alberta, check out horizonutilities.ca.